Hello, 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 it's Lacey. This is gonna be a general energy reading. I feel like already I pulled these cards because I'm getting a few people's energy from your past. It's like, it's like people who you were friends with. It's a mixture of them. It's a mixture of friends and possible like lovers too. But I'm seeing for the friends, there's somebody specifically who regrets like not taking your side and things like they took another person's side to fit in I, I was channeling this and i got some notes so let me look at my note yeah they regret trying to fit in instead of being on your side like someone could have talked about you or criticized you and something about you and instead of taking your side they might have even carried over the criticism or this could have been someone you introduced to your partner your lover or something like that and you could have had like a verbally abusive partner that tried to beat you down like because of your happiness maybe you were young maybe you were naive they had you he they did the worst and they started trying to carry over the energy of the person you left behind like you know well maybe some things were right like they might have thought like you know like they chose everybody's side except for your side and I could see that that caused you a lot of pain at some point and it's like you know I can see that this person is in regret too because they're like why did I keep all see they, this person can be an Aquarius or that per because you know I like to start with the major arcana we'll use something to hide that because <laughs> it's a nudie card but that person <laughs> that person um it's feeling like a wayward star. Like, you know, like they're never gonna shine and they're wondering if it's because of, they notice a link between when things are going well for them, it's because you're in their lives. And when things are going bad for them, it's usually when you guys are on bad terms. Like they notice, like they finally starting to notice the karma in something about taking someone else's side. And then not only that, I feel other people coming at this person. They're like, you know, why would you even try to criticize that one person like she's a ch he or she is a child? Like that's a grown person. How they do things is like how they do th things. This person could be a creative and this person is dealing with some alcoholism. They're not creating like how they should create. Like this person could be a singer or something like that. And then they're not able to sing any songs, write any songs, whatever they do, or this person could have been in a gym and they not able to keep up with their fitness. It's something linked to how they treated you. And a loneliness, isolation. So this person might have even thought like that you were lonely and they were like one of your only options. So they got to mistreat you. If not, not this person is lonely and they're paralyzed by fear. They, you know, they might be afraid of of people people now know what they try to do to you and how they try to carry it out and then not only that a whole bunch of people who were against you like you got people who love you whatever you uh place you left and you might have felt like you didn't have that love or that support you have a lot of love and support from people. And then they're like, why would you even play with that person? You could have been going through a lot at this time. I'm like, you could have at some point been like down and out. You could have been homeless. You could have been leaving an abusive relationship. You could have just had a baby. I'm just giving, or you could have just lost your parents. You could have just lost a friend, a loved one. You could have been in a state of depression. It's just like a lot of heavy energy around this time period in which you felt like you had no one and then those people they kicked you when you were down and this is why people are mad and not only that they're mad at themselves so this is another thing so they're whatever you felt 
now they're feeling it and they they haven't gone through half as much as you you're in the place where either you're up or you will be like you know because you look into things you look into spirituality if you hear reading tarot cards this means you wonder deeply about things you know a lot of people don't look into uh past behavior or pretend like they even care they care for like the wrong reasons yeah, this person is codependent. This person is somebody that always got to have other people around. This person ha is like, it's their weak spirited person. And they kind of just go with the crowd because then we got the Queen of Cups here. I'm going to put that on the bottom because it was supposed to be the major arcana lineup right here. But that one wanted to come out. See, yeah, you're finding balance in your comp uh, your uh, emotions. You know, you, I'm just feeling from this power. It almost made me want to cry because I know you just, you might have been through through it and you deserved more support than what you got. And I feel somebody saying that to the people who attempted to kick you, judge you, like, I don't know shoot you when you were down you could still have some of these people trying to come after you trying to judge what you do in life and who you are in life when what you do is nobody else's problem like you know i could even feel like you know like they just discuss you like in full for some reason and like nobody knows why they're trying to think of like why would they hate this person so much like like what did this person do to deserve that type of behavior and now that that they're being shamed because this person is codependent on sociology and like sociology what is that they're codependent on socializing and what people think that's why they brought somebody opinion to you in the first place this person now is feeling the heaviness you might be feeling some heaviness and it's really their emotions it's not your emotions it's them in regret right now pull another card see yeah i told you people are turning against them we got that lack of teamwork a lot of people don't want to play with them don't want to sit with them they um yeah they don't have no motivation and whatnot if you're feeling like this right now you might just need a period of rest there's different ways to get motivated starting small steps at a time but i'm feeling like you're gonna be motivated soon and, you know you might be i don't know I, I feel like with this pile the people in here might not have no choice whether they were motivated or not you still get things done me too motivated or not i still get things done every day i wake up and try to get uh things done yeah this could have happened around this person hmm yeah, they could have been a Taurus who turned against you, or you could be a Taurus. This is planet Venus and security. You could have had groups of females uh, turn against you and judge what type of woman you are, if you are a woman, or what you should be doing. This is like real, the whoop de woo that blase blah, that he say, she say type of energy. Spirit, what else you got for my collective? Please clarify this. And there, and there's someone who also just wanted to like, I don't know. It's real, like I don't know. Turning point energy. You could have had a lot of people just act weird around a certain time period. Like, why are you guys all being douches right now? Like, you know. And they just did it for. I don't even think they know why. I'm probably looking back. It was probably like those people were possessed or something. But a lot of people who you didn't even know, like the people you did know, turn against you. But then there were so many people that you you're not even aware of how much they love and support you, like in life.
Yeah, this could also be due to your personal beliefs. I don't know, you could have got tattoos, you could dress differently, you could be polyamorous, you could be LGBTQ. <laughs> uh, you know, you could even, I don't know, be in the adult industry. You know, you did something that other people don't agree with. But that's your life, and it's all right, what Drake said, because it's your life. <laughs> Hoes talk down, they don't see you outside. <laughs> Save the energy. But you got some good fortune coming in, and you got a lover there. Like, there's somebody who wants to hold you or wish that they held you through those dark time periods. They wish they could say that they were there for you, but they know they can't say they were there for you. Even the person that was supposed to be there for you wasn't there for you. They came around to kind of transfer the gin and try to put you down. They weren't really the compassion. They probably gave you, like, a moment of compassion and empathy whatnot just to kind of reel you in and then try to pull you down under again for whatever reason and this is working because it probably uh it worked to like open up your empathy and not only that teach you to put a condom on your heart so that other people aren't trying to walk all over it I'm like, you know, somebody told me that before. I, I keep that phrase in my head. Putting it, the will of fortune wants to come out. You can come on out, will of fortune. Destiny, turning points, decisive. See, this is like back when energy, but now there's a turning point. People are looking at you and like, they don't even know how to approach you if they did want to approach you to apologize. And then not only that, those who acted that way, they feel cringe, they feel shame. They feel a way that they, they're trying to imagine what it would have been like to be you and to go through that and then to have like salt dumped in your wounds like are they trying to imagine what it would feel like to have salt dumped in your wounds like you know and they can't even put themselves in a place to what that might have felt like and what you know and i could feel more adultier and mature people coming in to tell these people that this friend specifically like you don't even know what that would have felt like to go through what she went through and then not only that like you know it's just like you had a lot of love and support like, <laughs> like that you might not have felt that way and then the ones who love you or like take your side or they're on your team you may not be as close with them so they're not gonna approach you about it and whatnot like they want to respect your space and whatnot and then they know you probably don't even feel like revisiting that type of stuff and that type of behavior but it's like basically like you know i'm getting just leave her alone leave him alone energy like like you know anytime people talk about you they're starting to get mad like you know and then not only that if you had to curse a few people out a lot of people understand you might think oh man people think i'm crazy because i got angry or something no your anger was legit <laughs> your anger probably been sitting there for a while it probably takes a lot to make you mad i know people who channel into um Terror readers have a tendency to have like similar energy to the reader. And I know I'm a laid back person. It kind of takes me a lot to get mad. I get mad on purpose now just so people don't try me. I don't even really be mad for real. I'm like, but let me put on my angry voice. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, cause you want, like, you know, I'm cursing out, you want. <laughs> and cause I had no other choice. That's why I would. If I I had to. And that's the only way I'm doing those things. I'll pull out another card for you. Yeah, you they could have be going through an unhealthy relationship or you were in an unhealthy relationship 
and they wanted, I don't know, for some reason for you to pretend like you were in a healthy relationship or you could have had, I don't know, like, you know, they wanted you to honor somebody's name. This could be somebody who passed, who passed away, but they did something to you. And people just want you to be quiet about what happened rather than, you know, and then you don't have to honor no dead mother. What was that? I'm hearing that, that, that uncle murder song. I ain't losing no sleep over no dead. I don't care if his mother heard what I said. The bang bang <laughs> I ain't losing no sleep over no dead mother you know. <laughs> you know, that song too because they want you to if that person wasn't good to you you don't have to honor their spirit I, I can't stand that oh but he was a good man to be a good man or a good person you have to actually be a good person and we're not sweeping under the rug that you punched five women in the face or you stole from somebody and did this. And we're not going to call people good people based on accolades like jobs and degrees and getting up and going to work. I'm not going to call a person a bad person because they're a thug and they're out on the street. I might make my little jokes about every class and whatnot, but you know, you're not necessarily a bad person if you're on the streets moving them things like you know and you're not necessarily a good person if you're sitting in an office somewhere with a degree who you are as a person depends on what you are in your soul like you know and how you treat other people these people want the accolades to count for you being a good person rather than i don't know actually being a good kind person who considers others like you know there's like no outside way yeah this time they could have felt like you were naive but now these people know that they were naive and that they were careless and they were inconsiderate they like every bit of it and they feel so cringe because of this they feel like you know you know even through all of that i could feel somebody mad still you still open your heart you probably you might have opened your home you may have attended places you didn't have to attend you were more than emotionally supportive these people maybe you didn't have a lot materially at that time period but the way you supported emotionally hasty and considerate naive yeah they were hasty they were inconsiderate naive and careless and they have no emotional what is that maturity they don't have emotional maturity they don't have emotional intelligence and that's why they did those things now they didn't learn emotional intelligence until you walked away or you might have just gotten so mad you cursed them out and you had to teach them emotional intelligence like you know that like you be thinking some people think as deeply as you do but a lot of them don't a lot of it is surface level a lot of them probably smoke and drink way too much and they stuck inside their minds nothing wrong with smoking and drinking well you know unless you feel like it's causing you problems i you know me I, i'm sensitive to a lot of things because you know i don't need the the voices getting any louder no i'm joking <laughs> kids with celebration problem with family yeah these people are having a lot of uh karma and it could be in the um in the form of family problems like they could have a lot going on even down to problems creating a family a lot of people who talk down on you they can't find a relationship that works out for them they um feel like it's too late to have kids they're not finding any um body they find reliable enough to have children with 
there's the lighter energy to hair too. Like he's imagining you, like, I don't know, like the way he treated you and the way other people treated you, they're all just thinking about it. And then they're coming to the conclusion is that's why you are the way you are because of how some people and not and not to say you're a bad person you're a good person but this is why you're closed off you know and it's actually some people are crying thinking about it like i feel this energy of this masculine male crying over the way he treated you especially in that time period he was just hype off the fact he felt like you needed them and whatnot and you don't need anybody who's going to come around Around to mistreat you. I don't know why, but now this person is actually crying that they're thinking about this. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde that brought it back around, or maybe your picture popped up on Facebook, or I don't know. It's just so many things. Let's see, yeah, judgment card came out. They dealing with self-hate, guilt, inner critic. At some point, they were trying to search what you did wrong. But she's this. Oh, but she posted in a purple shirt. <laughs> Why would she pose in a purple shirt? Of course, people are going to make fun of you or do this and do that. And then I could feel somebody cursing them out. Like, I'm tired of you digging for excuses and reasons reasons you acted the way you acted i'm saying like some of these people just acted so disgustingly like you know and then it's just like how many groups of people could that be on you could still run into people like that i still look at some stuff on the news i'm like like how could people like that exist in the world like you know i don't understand i'm like oh gosh i try not to get too caught up in it Yeah, you're you're consistent though. You were consistent in your healing, moving forward. You're becoming like a whole new person. Why these people are stuck? They're stuck, and like you know, they they're not gonna get to move on in life like how you move on in life. My pile, my collective pile. They feel like they definitely missed a chance with you. Some people are frustrated. They want to go back and undo those things. But they, they also see that you're free now. Like, you know, you're free. You're happy. You live the life that you want to live. Like, you know, you or if you don't feel like that, it's coming. You're going to live the life that you want to live. More money is coming. <laughs> the bees are... The, the the uh bees are coming and the the guys the fellas and the ladies i should say <laughs> but the song has too many curse words in it that i was gonna say let's actually pull some angel numbers for this pile before i close it out we love angel numbers pull some angel numbers for you baby Spirit, give me the best angel numbers. Angel numbers. What is that? That's a six of diamonds. That's a seven. Seven. And that's a four of diamonds. So we got right here, that's six, seven, four. Let's read to you what angel number six, seven, four means. Seven four angel number. 
The 674 angel number means that it's time to manifest your dreams. Your angels are sing signaling that you have the power to make things happen and reach for the stars. It is time for you to take action with faith and confidence, knowing that your angels are guiding and supporting you every step of the way. That's it for my collective. I hope you guys have a great night, day, whenever you're finding this reading. I love you. The divine loves you. The universe loves you. <laughs> and I will talk to you next time.